Hey guys, today I'm filming my Finish 5 by Fall update number 1. If you guys have not seen my intro, I'll have that video linked up here. I will be posting this video a couple days late, but I am filming it on the 21st. So I was able to finish up two of the five items within the first month. The first thing I finished up is the Wet n Wild eyeshadow single in the shade Brulee. I knew I would go through this relatively quickly, but I didn't think I would finish this up that fast. And I already had a backup of this that I'm working on now. So this is what it looks like. This is such an amazing eyeshadow. I love using this as a brow bone highlight, and I'm currently using this to set my eye primer. This is the perfect shade for me to create a skin tone base layer. I love this shade. And and if you have more of a tan skin tone, this would be a really pretty bright highlight. This is such an amazing matte formula shadow. I really wish Wet n Wild had more matte shadow singles because they are fantastic. So I went through that one really quickly and I definitely have repurchased it and will continue to repurchase it. The next thing I finished up is my ColourPop eyebrow pencil in the shade Blondie. In my intro, I mentioned that this is the type of brow pencil that twists up, but it does not twist back down. So I was not able to mark my progress or be able to see how much product I had left. So one day I was just applying my brow product. I'd filled in my left brow. I got halfway through the right and then gone. No more products left. Thankfully, I always have backup brow pencils on hand because I tend to go through them relatively quickly. So I just filled in the front of my brow with my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe. And to see my brows side by side, Taupe, which is a cool tone color, looked very, very warm in comparison to ColourPop's Blondie. I have never found a brow pencil this cool tone, which is amazing. It's also very, very light. I absolutely will repurchase this. I do still prefer the formula of my NYX Micro Brow Pencil, but this color is amazing. I do enjoy the formula, and whenever I order from ColourPop, if I'm $5 away from free shipping, I will absolutely be picking this up. Really, really impressed with this product. I did go through it relatively quickly, but that does happen with my NYX Micro Brow as well. So highly, highly recommend this. It was very pigmented. It did draw on to skin and onto brow hair really well. So very, very impressed with this product. Sad to have used it up and I definitely will repurchase it. So now I'm gonna show you the progress on the three items I have left and I have added in a replacement product. So now to show you my progress on Maybelline Color Tattoo and Badge of the Bronze, I've probably worn this seven or eight times within the last month and I was able to clear out this middle section. I actually just did that this morning when I applied the two layers on my eye and I don't have that much left. I definitely will finish this by the finale so that's why I'm not in such a hurry because I've really been trying to focus on my palette of the month and creating looks with that. I have been neglecting this product but I think I'll be using it more in August and if it came down to it, I could totally use this every single day in September to use it up. Really happy with the progress I'm making on this. I'm getting good use out of it, but not overusing it, and I'm still able to enjoy my other eyeshadows. The next product I have is my e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set Setting Spray. I am all the way down here, so I'll be finished with this in a week. I have made pretty good progress, but the only reason this is not finished is because for a week and a half, two weeks I was testing out the Scandinavia setting spray so that's the reason this one is not done yet but this will absolutely be finished by the next update this is okay I do prefer the Scandinavia over this one so I'm going to be happy to finish this up and have one less setting spray in my collection and when I do use this up I do have another setting spray that I will be replacing this one with my next product is my Lilu perfume from PacSun. This perfume was discontinued a while ago and then it was brought back. I was able to find it at the outlets and now it is gone, 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 gone forever. In my intro video, I was trying to link it for you guys and I couldn't find it anywhere except for on eBay. And there was a used bottle selling for $75. Like, People are that desperate to get this perfume. Literally, I got these buy one, get one free at the outlets. So I got two bottles of perfume for $20. Like, I definitely would not pay $75 for a used bottle. So at first that made me nervous to finish this up, but because I do have a brand new one waiting to be opened and I have several other perfumes in my collection, 
I do think it will still last me a while and I was still very dedicated to finish this up. So this line is from my intro and I am all the way down here at the first update. I am pretty happy with this progress. I had no idea how quickly or slowly I would be going through this product because I've never tried to purposefully use up a perfume. I also am not going through this one as quickly because I'm not wearing it every day because I'm not really going out places and I don't really want to spray perfume just to be in the house. I feel like that's a little bit wasteful but I have been a applying it before my videos so I don't know if I'm wasting it or not there's not really anybody around to smell it but me I do love the scent and I'm not using it as a room spray or anything I'm only using it on me so I think this should be finished up by my next update so those are my five original items and I did decide to add in a replacement product since I did finish two products so early on I decided to add in my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 110 Porcelain. I started tracking my progress on this item on July 1st, which is where the first line is, and this line is where I am now. So I've been using this every single day. I mix it with my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. That mixture is working really well for me, so I should absolutely have this finished up by the finale. I think I will still have some products left by my next update, but the finale for sure. I hate this foundation. I don't understand the hype, but by mixing it with the Kat Von D, it is really making it work for me and I'm able to work through both of those foundations. I'm not including that Kat Von D foundation in this project because I have a lot more product in that one and I don't think I could finish it up within the time frame, but I feel pretty confident about this foundation. So guys, that was my finished five by fall update number one. I would love to know how you all are doing with this challenge. Please let me know in a comment down below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.